Up impeachment talks, even James Comey weighing in. This is about the violations of campaign finance laws. The allegations are coming out of the Cohen documents last week that the president directed hush money payments to women that the president allegedly slept with. Again, it comes out of the Michael Cohen sentencing. The offense is basically this. By covering up his affairs with hush money, the president misled the American voter. The, the debate now is whether an alleged crime that happened before President Trump took office can justify a case for impeachment. There's a ton of legal ambiguity here. Let's bring in Judge and an Napolitano on it. Okay, here's the thing. Move it up. Someone will have to prove to a jury that the money actually came from campaign funds and the transactions were, were for, quote, the purpose of influencing federal elections. I mean, this is, he could say, I'm trying to protect my family from shame. All right, those are two different, and good evening, Emac. It's always a pleasure good to see to you, sir. on your show. Those are two different uh, issues. Did the money come from campaign funds or was the payment of the money from whatever source a gift to the campaign, both of which would be unlawful. Here's the issue, and, uh, you know, I, 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 I want Donald Trump to succeed, but I have to be intellectually honest here. The issue is prosecutors have told a federal judge that the president of the United States, before he was a president, ordered and paid for a criminal event. They didn't have to say that. That's before he became president, though. Correct. Could, could they instead censor him and not impeach okay, him? Okay, if you just want to talk about impeachment. Impeach uh, can they, no, I want to know, can they just, in, just censor him? Yeah, but because be, his actions before he took office. I think a censure would be meaningless. He'd probably laugh at it. Impeachment is reserved for treason, bribery, or other high crimes or misdemeanors committed while in office. Right. There is a line of thought in the legal community that in something that's a high crime or misdemeanor committed in order to obtain office would qualify. Example, if a president bribed a candidate of a president right. bribed electors to vote for okay. him. Uh, if a judicial nominee lied under oath All in right, order but to the, get let confirmed. Me, let me get back up to the legal ambiguity because this is causing a company to make illegal donations. In other words, from Cohen to the, the company to make the illegal of uh, hush money payments. I mean, the John Edwards campaign, they had a lot of those charges dismissed. Uh, we had Barack Obama campaign violations, $1.9 million worth of violations, busted down to a hun multiple hundred thousand dollar fine. I mean, so I'm not sure if, if the, in light of all of that, how this can be pushed to an impeachable offense. I hear what you're saying. Well, it's not right to do. It's, if it's true, it's wrong what happened. But to bring it up to the level of impeachment well, seems you a just, stretch. Well, you just quoted Congressman Nadler, who, who's the incoming chair of the House Judiciary Committee. Impeachable offense is political. The Congress right. will do what they think will help that's, them politically. That's right. If they think there's an atmosphere to enhance their, their popularity with the voters by impeaching, they'll vote to impeach. If they think impeachable is utterly unacceptable to the American public, which I believe it is, they will not vote to impeach. The U.S. attorney in the Southern District of Manhattan doesn't operate that way. They have an obligation. When they make an allegation against the president of the United States, they better have the evidence to back that allegation up, and they better do something with it. Yeah, we've got to see if they have that, right? Right. That's the key point, Judge. So That's one, an important point you just one made. One is a legal prosecution irrespective of its popularity. The other, impeachment, is a political judgment which cannot survive if it's not popular. That's a great point. You nailed it again, Judge Napolitano. Oh. Come back soon. Pleasure. Great stuff. Always so smart.